The second season of 13 Reasons Why is just around the corner, so let's take a look at what we know so far. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers, and before we start, possible spoiler warnings. Now it's been over a year since season 1 dropped, so if you're in desperate need for a recap, you can check it out here. Now, back a couple of months ago at the end of March, Netflix started a YouTube campaign called Tell Them, where people who were affected by the show told their personal stories of depression and suicide, plus some of the cast members reading viewers' letters. We got the first season in March of last year, so fans were sort of confused that we hadn't heard anything at that point. But even after these few videos, there was still no official promo for season 2. Until last week, that is, when they finally dropped a date amongst a teaser trailer. A camera moving through frozen moments show that Hannah might have a bigger part in this season than I first thought. The ongoing theory was that the show would change focus to Tyler or Alex and leave Hannah's story behind, but at the end we see that Clay has a summons to appear at the inquiry into Hannah's death, and apparently Hannah's tapes were just the beginning. Alongside this we got a bunch of promo posters, but something caught my eye on the Spanish website for the show. There's a poster of Sherry which shows a Polaroid of her in jail, which isn't exactly a shock, but it's interesting to see that she was definitely locked up after coming clean about the car accident that killed Jeff. Another promo pic that's a bit of a spoiler was on Netflix Instagram, who posted a brunette Alex looking alive and well listening to presumably Hannah's tapes, or who knows, maybe even a new tape. We also see him in the teaser for the season 2 soundtrack at the beach with Jessica. Obviously a bit of a rekindled romance going on there. Last we saw Alex was in intensive care after a gunshot to the head. Again, not a huge surprise because if he was going to die then they would have killed him in the final episode instead of leaving him in the hospital. This week they finally dropped the trailer, very very close to the release date, only a couple of weeks from the premiere. Now let's break down a couple of shots. Already we can see Hannah and Clay talking, which obviously means Clay's conscience isn't letting him move on, and he is still haunted by her memory. It was interesting to see Mr. Porter slam Bryce against a wall. I guess he's finally taking Hannah's accusation seriously. Clay gets his hands on a gun, which I think we can conclude is to kill Bryce for his injustice against Hannah. And speaking of guns, the theory of Tyler shooting up the school is still in play. Let's take a look at a couple of shots to support it. We see Tyler holding a big black bag with a friend in tow, then fleeing a scene. They aren't exactly dressed for shooting up a school, but maybe they just wanted to avoid suspicion. I feel like this will be a key event in Season 2, much like the dark climax that Hannah's suicide was in Season 1. School shootings are obviously a sensitive subject at this point in time, but the producers, now that they've concentrated on suicide in Season 1, might want to draw people's attention to a different issue that they're facing in America being school shootings for Season 2. School shootings are a tricky scene to pull off in the entertainment industry. A dark rendition was in the first season of American Horror Story, which didn't censor much and was quite confronting. Some part of me thinks that they definitely won't be censoring Tyler's shooting either if it comes to fruition. Now there's been a few official screenshots released showing a court hearing with Hannah's mum making a press statement out the front of the court, as well as an emotional Tony beside his totaled prized possession. Finally, there's been a few Instagram stories which are posing as the fictional characters' real-life Instagram stories, which already sounds cringy, but you have no idea. We're finally going back to school. You sound more excited than you should. Yeah, I'm thinking we make like a triumphant return. Maybe I break the door down with my cane? My hero. <laughs> but let me know, what are your theories for Season 2? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. Now I'll be posting my review for Season 2 a week after the premiere date, so stay tuned for that. But I think we can all agree, let's just hope we get a strong Season 2. But thanks so much for hanging out, if you had a good time then spank that like button, and if you subscribed during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.